In this video, we'll have a look at how easy it is to build a supported Docker data center setup with a highly available UCP cluster and Docker trusted registry. We'll start with a base of four machines already running the commercially supported version of the Docker engine. Now, these can be in the cloud, they can be on premises, wherever you want them, right? So long as they can talk over a decent, reliable network. Anyway, we'll build a UCP cluster with three manager nodes in a highly available config We'll add a worker and we'll build a Docker trusted registry. Now there are templates and things that let you do all of this programmatically or with a few mouse clicks for the likes of AWS and Azure, but we're going to do it all by hand and we'll see how simple even that is. So I'm logged on to node one of four here and Docker's already installed. Well, firing up a new UCP cluster is a super simple Docker run command. We're mounting a volume here. We're telling it what image and command to run the address we want it to bind to, and we're telling the installer to run interactively. Okay, a username and password. Keep this safe and make it a good one because it's your UCP root or admin account. Okay, so part of the install is creating certs. Now I'm just accepting the default here and adding the URL I'm gonna connect through. This will be different in your environment, of course, and in the real world, you're probably going to be talking with your security guys and building this in line with corporate security policies and the likes. But away that goes. Okay, so that's installed. Now I've got name resolution and the likes set up so that I can hit things at ucp.local. And let's log on with that admin account. And this here is UCP, or to be precise, it's a single node UCP, but it is so easy to add more nodes. Now, we'll do it here, but you can do it from the main dashboard as well. But this is it, right? Do we want it to be a manager? Well, this time we'll say yes, and we'll grab the command. Now let's go and paste that into node 2. And look, as simple as that, node 2 is now a UCP manager. Well, I'll tell you what, let's do the same over on node 3 so that we've got three managers, which, by the way, automatically work in an HA formation. But that's it. We've got three managers. And that's backed up by what we see here in the GUI. Great. OK. Now, this is just a demo. Obviously, in the real world, you're going to be looking at your network topology and all that kind of stuff when you're deciding which nodes to make managers. But in essence, it really is as simple as that. Now, let's make node 4 here a worker. So this time we leave the manager box unchecked. Let's have that command again and paste it here on node 4. And that is our four node cluster, three managers and one worker. Well, I'll tell you what, let's add Docker trusted registry now. So that's here under admin settings. We'll be accessing it through its public DNS name. Put it on this node here, it's the worker. Again, in the real world, okay, you'll have a bit of a think about which node to run it on. It's got to be a node, though, managed by UCP, but that's the only hard requirement. The rest you can decide for yourself based on your environment. Now then, just for this video, I'll disable TLS verification, and we'll have that command. Now, I'm on the node that I want to install it on here, and I have slightly tweaked the command just to use a beta version of the image. But this should do it. OK, so because it's tied to UCP here, we've got to authenticate with UCP. And I tell you what, we'll give that a few seconds to complete. OK, now that that's done, let's refresh this DTR page here. All right, see how the install's gone and we see our DTR instance. Now, if we grab its URL here, whack that into another browser tab. OK, this is our DTR. So that's it. Super simple to set up your own Docker data center environment with the commercially supported Docker engine, universal control plane, and Docker trusted registry. For more information, come and visit us at www.docker.com enterprise.